You know, I'm not quite sure it is fully sunk in yet. However, coming into this building, uh, a building which I came in to every day for about 12 years, is making it seem yeah. a little more real. Yes. <laughs> It, it quite it has not quite yet set in. Um, you know, folks have asked, do you feel the historic nature of this election? And honestly, no, because it's been one conversation at a time and it's been super locally focused. And so um, I think also along the lines with Andrea that stepping into this building, it's like, oh, right, like this really happened. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, every day is a, Pioneer Day. Yeah. Um, you know, we 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 did the first Trans Equity Summit um, here together, and um, you know, as as transgender people, you know, identified people um, working in City Hall as as aides. I think that was pioneering. And so this is just the Seriously. next step. Seriously, you know, this is just the next step. In my race, it was there. I, I would say that in my race overall, people were overwhelmingly supportive. Um, and particularly around the diversity that I was bringing to the table, very unexpected people, when they found out that I was trans and I'm also black and queer, when they found that out and then they saw my husband who was also trans, they were like, that's who I want to represent my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's who I want to be the face of my neighborhood. And so I, that's the kind of experiences that I've had. There's been negativity and ugliness, but the goodness has far outweighed it, so. I personally um, had a ton of support, even though when I announced this campaign, people asked me who my opponents were, and, and I would always name um, racism and transphobia, uh -huh. because, you know, um, so as a true. black person living in America, I'm overcoming those challenges every day, or I'm facing those challenges every day. And so, yeah, we knew that that was gonna be um, uh, uh, part of the conversation, but fortunately it was a very, very, very small part of the conversation. Agreed, uh, agreed, in, agreed. In, in my situation, and um, yeah, it's been beautiful. It's been a beautiful experience. I, Truly. I think you may know that we did capture 73% of the vote. So people were enthused, people were engaged, people um, were very, very supportive. And I think it's a message, I think it's a signal that hatred and bigotry in this country will not stand. Like we are, um, we are the resistance, we are fighting back, we are standing up for, for justice, for fairness, for equity, for all people. And uh, I think that's been exhibited in the elections of uh, myself and Philippe, as well as Danica Rome and all of the, the, the four other trans candidates that have been elected in the United States on November 7, mm -hmm. 2017. Yes. 